What's happening troops? We're back in with another Call of Duty Vanguard video and this time, yes you read that title correctly, I played Call of Duty Vanguard with Syndicate. Quite a nuts moment to be fair because I watched Syndicate quite a lot when I was growing up uh, in terms of vlogs and so on and so forth and I know Jaff who I play with regularly, we play Warzone tournaments, we play wagers, we do all sorts together. Jaff's really good friends with Tom, he has been for quite some time now. Uh, and it just so happens, the stars kind of aligned on Monday, I hopped on at the time in which they were needing a player, we hopped in, we had some fun, we played for over 5 hours together. A lot of highlights will be popping up kind of throughout this video, you know, what the kind of games were like man, what kind of fun we were having, what kind of jokes were flowing. It was actually just that overall man, probably one of the better streams that I've had since coming out of Vanguard. And yeah man, things were coursing with some laugh and it's been awesome man, the, the journey of, you know, Warzone, all my previous videos that you would have seen playing with a lot of professional athletes, footballers, uh, top tier content creators, players like Sprat for example that I watched numerous times growing up man, you know, and it's um, really fun man, really fun the opportunities are presenting themselves at the moment, it's sick, um, and I'm just so damn excited for the future man, Call of Duty, um, my business YN, all the other projects I've got in the works, man, that I'm just addicted to that creative aspect of, you know, building something, uh, falling in love with the process. It's just a crazy time, trips. But yeah, enjoy the highlights, trips. Have an awesome day. I just said trips twice, I know. Leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, guys, alright? Peace. Ah, uh, you thought you were getting rid of me, eh? Yeah? Absolutely not happening, trips. Decided to use this highlights video as you'll kind of be hearing myself, Jaff, and Tom kind of in the background. Uh, kind of drawing in and out here or there, just based on what the highlight is, if it's funny, if it's jokey, or if it's just genuine smoke, we're going to have me speaking over the top of it. Um, but this video is a, a perfect opportunity for kind of me to speak about the maps, the guns, uh, the competitive Call of Duty aspect, you know, what I'm actually liking, what I'm kind of not liking, liking. And anyone that watches my streaming strips, you'll know that I will not play something that I don't enjoy. Um, for me, like, I've been enjoying Vanguard a hell of a lot. There's a lot more positives than negatives for me, and there's a lot of stuff that they can fix that I'm really looking forward to them getting sorted. Um, and to be honest, anyone that's watched my streams previously as well, man, you know, I'm extremely positive. It, uh, my levels of mental resilience are incredibly high, and like I said, I'll not play a game that I do not enjoy, man. So just know that anything that's coming out is from a genuine, you know, place. It's something that I genuinely believe when I'm saying, um, and uh, I believe that we've got a really good game here, man. We've got a really good game, and if they can kind of <laughs> make sure that people don't lose interest on it, because there's not really the, what they're lacking is that kind of grind, man. You know, like you can do the camos grind and so on and so forth, but there's only so much that you can really grind for. They need a right play system. You know, they need something to capture the audience from a competitive and from a multiplayer aspect. Natural seem courage which I'll have pop up on the screen at some point. Courage put up a tweet, a late night thought or an early morning thought, whatever it was, and it was about how they should have a rule set prepared for when the, you know, before the game drops, so that they can get ranked play introduced straight away, they can get the COD League started, just so they can get ahead of the game, because they do, man. Multiplayer is something that you can quickly lose interest in, just because of that lack of grinding aspect. Now, if we think back to Black Ops 2 days, you know, all the prestiges, being able to reset your prestige, having league play, you know, the massive right one league play grind was crazy, man. I remember I was an absolute hermit back in, you know, the summer of whatever year it was uh, that Black Ops 2 was out, but I literally did not leave my house. Now, if they can capture that initial interest, because I tell you what, trips, you know, Friday yeah, to Sunday, I streamed uh, and created content and played for over 40 hours. 40 hours. Like, that's that's serious, man. Especially just on multiplayer, just on... I don't even think we played wagers, to be honest. I might have played wagers on Sunday, had some fun on Sunday with that, but... And maybe some tourneys here or there, man, but... Majority of it was just public matches, like, I, I've not done that for years, man. You know, Cold War, that was that was at the window in, in a very short space of time. I was back to Warzone within, you know, less than a week. Um, Modern Warfare, never really had the, the same kind of vibe, you know, that, that, that previous Call of Duty's had. I do believe this is probably one of the better Call of Duty's that we have had since probably Black Ops 3, to be honest. And they've got so many pauses, man, they just need to capture that initial interest. Cap because I've heard people pushing through, you know, some hard times in Call of Duty now. A lot of people, what they'll usually do if they're playing shit, or if they're not dropping high kill games, or if they're getting smoked, they'll put the, you know, the gun, the, the game at the window, and that'll be it written off, man. But I've heard people, especially in my stream, man, my community, powering through that initial learning curve. That will not happen if people do not enjoy the game. Like, that is huge. They need to capture that, and I believe that the way in which they can capture it, 
is by implementing, you know, some sort of... I, I imagine they have a prestige system there, you know, you can get up to prestige 3 at the moment, I believe. Um, in which if people could, you know, hit a prestige 10, 15, 20, whatever it is, roll it back to MW3 days, it could be crazy, man. Like, it could be crazy in terms of what people grind for. It could be way more fun. And if they capture that even further by a league play system, a rank play system, similar to Black Ops 2, endless possibility ships, endless. Uh, but now let's talk a wee bit more about the guns. Guns, they need a little balancing. You know, the damage magazines are a bit ridiculous here or there, the SCG one specifically. The MP40 kills incredibly quickly. The Type 100 kills incredibly quickly. Uh, the NZ41, the base damage of that gun is really good. Like, really, really good. It's a bit ridiculous, to be honest. Maybe they nerf that a little bit. And from there, I believe they probably balance quite a lot of guns. The bar as well, actually. Sorry, the bar. Uh, the bar is a gun at the moment that is currently bad in competitive Call of Duty as well. But STG, if you take the damage magazines out, the MP40, maybe a retweak, you know, the Type 100, the NZ41. Tweaks as well, maybe take 100 quite a harder nerf maybe. Um, if they just kind of have it similar to the Scorpion for Black Ops 2, if anyone remembers that, they could, you know, it could have endless possibilities how fun that gun would be using. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my overall view of the, the, the guns at the moment. Maps, I really enjoy most of the maps to be honest man, the only map that I actually really skip, or the two maps that I skip, is sub pins and Red Star. I just like to play out quite boring to be honest. Um, Every other map, man, I, I pretty much enjoy every other map. You know, there's a lot of my kind of favourites, like Hotel Royale, um, Dem Yansk, or how you pronounce it, Tuscan. They're kind of maps that I, that I'm enjoying. They're competitive Call of Duty maps as well. Um, but, I, I mean, to be honest, there's not much you can complain about when it comes to the maps. They're vibrant, they're colourful, they've got a really good vibe about them. Desert Siege is probably one that maybe would fall on the side of like Red Star and stuff, just because there's a lot of like No Man's Land getting slayed out. But overall trips, the system, the engine, you know, the maps, the guns, I'm pretty happy with all it, guys. And then, to be honest, you know, float back to, like I said, Cold War times, I'll be off the game by now, back on Warzone. But I have, I've been really enjoying it. There'll be plenty of content to come. I'm really looking forward to the integration with Pacific Warzone as well. There's a Warzone, the Battle Royale feels just a different gravy. Find that with my bread and butter that's Call of Duty. I really want to kind of bridge the gap with informative gameplay on that when it comes to December time. But we'll see. You know, we could take off over this next month. I could really start enjoying it even further. But until then, guys, hope you've enjoyed this postcom. Hope you've enjoyed some of the clips playing with Tom and Jaff. And surely we'll have some more games to come, guys. All right. And the last day trips, and I'll catch you in the next one. How did the house 24/7s in the game? No way. Someone in my chat, she said it. Someone.